everybody. Welcome to May 25th. Welcome to May 25th. How you guys doing? Let's see where we go. Spring and summer is in the air here in uh, the Northern Hemisphere. Just a spectacular bunch of days. Super grateful for that. Super grateful for that. So just wanted to say thank you to all y'all for being on the channel. Super grateful for that too. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy these morning messages. Hope you like them. Um, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Um, in June, we're going to be doing two past life regression sessions, two separate sessions. One that's focused on money blocks and one that is focused on twin flame. Okay, so the links are below if you want to join up for either one of those. The purpose of past life regression is to see what's blocking. Uh, especially if it's unconscious. If you're like, I don't know how I can get out of my own way with money or how I can deal with this twin flame. I don't know where I am with this thing. Past life regression can help because it shows you past lives that have something to do with the issues you're discussing. All right. Super helpful to me. My friend Mary Lee Lasardo is the QHHT practitioner doing these events. Super, super amazing. All right. The link is below if you want to join up for those. Those are in June. All right, let's see where we go. May 25th, May 25th. All right, let's see. Go the distance. <laughs> Come to the edge. Yeah, orphaned. Okay, there's some kind of, uh, uh, okay. So we've been knowing this for a while with this, um, the Saturn retrograde that just happened. And this week we're having a lunar eclipse a full lunar eclipse. So essentially you're looking out into your life and being like, that sucks. That's great. I don't know about this. Okay. So there's something here about assessing when, when we, that's the eclipse energy of like shining a light on your, not only your destiny and your path, but you know, really giving you like this sense of, okay, let's get down to it. There's something here that is bothering me or there's something here that I'm not sure is going to be on my path for the long term. Okay. So there's that. And then when things are in retrograde, we have the Saturn retrograde in the beginning of the week, May 23rd. And at the end of the week, the Mercury in retrograde. So this is a reassessing of things. All right. So I feel like, I feel like things could have been moving along or progressing in some, you know, even though it was Taurus season, a little bit of plodding, but a little also very stable, right? Feels pretty good. Gemini is a mutable sign. So those of you who have mutable signs in your sun sign, Gemini, um, Gemini, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces, it's likely that this eclipse season, especially since it's on the Gemini Sag axis, is going to um, I'm going to say rock your world a little bit. Okay. I know that's kind of big, but what I mean by that is you're, it's already coming into consciousness. If this reading is for you, something is already coming into your consciousness that is like, uh, I don't know about this. Um, I'm not sure that this is a good thing for me, or this feels off to me or something. So you could be, you know, things have been moving along fine, and all of a sudden you're getting these weird inklings. So let's see where we go here. This is the Ember and Aura deck. And then the outcome here is Orphan. So there is likely somebody or something um, that needs to move out of your life. And here's the thing. It's making space for something better. I'm definitely having that feeling about it, that like, don't be so afraid of things leaving. It's making space for something better. Okay, that's really what I'm getting around that. So, yeah, Queen of Cups. See her with the third eye. Mm-hmm. That's one of the things to cultivate here. Yes, look at this. Four of Swords meditation. For sure. Queen of Swords. So, Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. Temperance energy. Sag energy. Three of Cups. Moon right smack dab in the middle. This is the, the, um, lunar eclipse I'm talking about. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, three of swords. Look at this threes here. Uh, five of Pentacles, judgment, crossroads, crossroads. Okay. 
Um, I feel like some of you, there's some financial thing here. Let me clarify the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Justice, Libra Energy, Knight of Wands. All right, so some of you could be dealing with a situation that may require some kind of legal intervention here. All right, it's possible, Ten of Cups, that it's come as far as it can go. There's a third party showing up here that's going to either destabilize things, like it was seems like a good idea moving forward, but, you know, a third party could be a friend, it could be a new job, it can be, a third party can be a lot of things. I feel like you might be manifesting in something that makes you review or reassess what's going on, okay? You know, I feel like the, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Swords all have their eyes shut. All of them, okay? And this can be about, you know, even though the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords, Swords are about ideas. So you may not be seeing um, what's going on. You may not be, you be like meditating. You're doing everything. It's very internal. I feel like there might be some internal truth that opens your eyes here, okay? Like I said, uh, Sag, I got Libra here, Sag, Libra. Um, cancer, Sag, Libra, Cancer energy here. Um, more Sag down here, Scorpio, death, transformation. Um, so like I said in this part, the, the final part of this is orphaned. So something is being left behind, something is transforming so that you can be going on your path. I feel like this is like a final, the final frontier or the final piece of a situation that needs to uncover itself so that you can move on in your life or something like that. All right, something's showing up in this moon energy. Please clarify the moon for me. Ten of Swords, Strength, mm, boy, Fool. All right, so you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, you could have, um, if you are feeling that a certain relationship is, uh, you feel like you're losing power or confidence in yourself, not in the relationship, but in yourself, right? Your Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Temperance Energy, and then there's just this like three of swords, five of pentacles. It's almost like you've lost your self-confidence. You could feel a little bit like someone else is taking over. Someone might be controlling. Um, someone who is very much about money, knight of pentacles. Someone who um, they can seem, I feel like this person can seem very grounded. And, but, and there's an, I don't feel like there's anything malevolent here. Okay. But what I do feel is your path is maybe something different or it's going a different way a little bit. And this, you know, this, it might not be about money. Okay. The path might not be about money. Um, the path may not be about an anchoring in something. This path may be like, you're in a pass through moment here. Um, the Sagittarian energy is a little bit about don't fence me in the transformational energy here of death. You know, you're coming into balance. You're doing some good work here. And I feel like it almost might show up that, oh, this might not work out in the long run. Okay. Even though you had some high hopes for this situation, um, I feel like the path forward is about reclaiming your own strength. Okay. So if someone is being, uh, someone, is, you know, maybe stabbing you in the back, someone is um, not being a good friend to you, someone is being, or, or not uh, backing you up or something like that, I feel like it's time to fool, right? It's time to go on a new path. Judgment and fool really support that. And I feel like there is some transformational energy here with the death energy, The Four of Swords, Three of Cups makes me feel like in the past you've done a good job of balancing 
the situation, but in this moon energy, the universe is, uh, temperance energy, right? This is the universe bringing in this situation for you to see it. So you can make some better choices here. I feel like you're also getting balanced in what is healthy love versus non versus unhealthy love. You may see a situation that's not healthy for some reason. This doesn't feel tremendously awful to me, but this makes me feel like you can over and this makes me feel like you can overcome it. OK, um, I just feel like somebody is doing things that they feel are correct. It's you know what I'm saying? It's not like. But you guys have two different paths here. I feel like you have might have different paths. So it's not really like um, they're. It's it, well, it, it is it is hurtful a little bit because you're like, mm, uh, I thought this was going to keep going, but we're on different paths here. OK, and um, let's see about judgment here. This is the crossroads with the eye open. Ten of Wands, eyes shut, chariot, eyes open, five of wands, emperor, four of wands. Okay. So this feel that feels pretty good to me. This feels like you are breaking free the judgment card with the eye open. Eyes wide open, please. You've overcome, you're overcoming. That's what that strength card is too. You're overcoming this situation. Um I almost feel like if you're connected in some way to this person that has to do with money or has to do with security or stability, this person goes too far as it relates to that. They just go too far and it helps you see. So there's some kind of truth that's showing up in this Sagittarian um, lunar eclipse that helps us see uh, a truth that now you need to take internally and understand what what your path may be. So if you look at this, this uh, you see how they're both on the same. This is kind of like a pedestal. Either you've been put on a pedestal or they've been put on a pedestal. And you see how underneath the pedestal is dwindling. OK, and then orphaned. Um, there's some awareness about this person or there's some awareness about your situation that is like dwindling for you. Okay. And instead of allowing yourself to be a pincushion for somebody else, you're instead uh, embracing your true power. All right. And going on a new path. I like this fool and chariot energy. This makes me feel really good. Um, and I, I feel like you're going to know some kind of truth. I've been saying this for a couple of days. I know you're going to, you know, feel some kind of truth here um, about a situation that's been very controlling. Okay. If you feel held back by this person, I feel like you're going to break free. And it may be very subtle because um, this person may, the, the key here is around stability and around money there's there's some kind of uh conversation or awareness in this you know uh full moon energy this lunar eclipse that you're like oh wow i thought i was doing better at balancing this i feel like this might be you know a kind of a controlling situation so i'm going to choose to you know go my own way i'm going to choose to um do my thing and take action toward my own happiness Emperor and the Four of Wands. Okay, you're taking action toward your own happiness. Um, something could be over. Ten of Swords and I don't want to downplay that. Okay, something could be over. Ten of Swords and Death energy, particularly as it relates to a Sag, Aries, Leo. I see all the fire signs here. Sag, Aries, Leo. I see Scorpio. I see Libra, and I see Cancer. Yep. Okay. So I will look at those in the extended. If, if you feel like you're dealing with those people or that's your sign, there may be some ad additional wisdom for you in that piece of the reading in the extended, okay? So there's definitely some sadness here about something that may have come to an end. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, or now you're seeing it. Um, ten of Pentacles is missing. 
So this person can be, you know, um, limiting your abundance because of a controlling energy, limiting what you can do, limiting how you can move. Do you feel restricted? Because I feel like you're breaking free. Okay. Breaking free of that. This can be a job. This can be a, a friend. This can be a love relationship. This can be a parent. This can be uh, a situation that you're dealing with that isn't really a person. It just feels like you've maybe boxed yourself in a little bit here. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to continue on with this. Like I said, I will look at Cancer and Scorpio and Libra and all the fire signs. So if you want to continue on with me, the link is below. If you're on Patreon or Ribbon in our group, the rest of the reading starts right now.